Welcome to your practice. This is a soft, slow encouragement uh, for you to find where your body, your breath, and your emotions, your thoughts can all kind of collectively come into this one space. Remember that through your practice, it is constantly yours. My words are merely suggestions and I welcome you to explore your your own body, your own breath, its own depth. I encourage you to explore your thoughts and the connection of all of these in a very safe and sacred environment. Welcome to your practice. If it feels good to go ahead and begin resting on the back, then allow yourself to find that space. If it takes you a few moments, maybe let your body kind of wrestle around. Press pause here for a moment until resting on your back does feel like a space you can come to. without trying to change the pace, without trying to change the effort, just begin to notice what your breath feels like here. Begin to listen to the sounds around you Becoming aware of the temperature of your body and the weight of your clothes. Take a full breath in through your nose. Exhale, just let it all out. (sighs) Welcome to your practice. If it feels good here, let one hand rest over the heart, one hand over the belly. Begin to know, to observe, to feel just how much you are a part of this earth, a part of the fiber, the soil, each cell. Let it be soft as you feel this connection. Concentrating into the sensations of your breath, begin to notice the inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Does your breath have a weight? a temperature, a sensation. Observe the way that it feels with the hand on the heart, the hand on the belly, how it just moves without force. Let it be gentle, maybe rolling the head from side to side, letting the fingers, the toes begin to move. Start to hug the knees on up, in toward the heart. Embrace your own body. Feel what it feels like here. Again, feeling the freedom to adjust and move and shimmy in every way that your body asks you to here. And if it feels good, maybe there's a space for happy baby where you can reach the hands up to the soles of the feet, gripping onto the outside of the soles of the feet maybe even pressing the legs up toward the sky, bringing them together, maybe scissor kicking them, bending, moving, shimmying, pointing the toes, flexing the toes, you see? Mm, There's so much freedom in the way that you can move, but still feel that breath, let the knees hug into the heart yet again. Mm, It's a spinal twist. As you begin to exhale your breath, just let the arms drip out to the sides. They can be straight or bent. It doesn't matter. The knees drip out in one direction. Mm, The gaze shifts in the opposite direction. And take a moment to really settle into what that spinal twist feels like. 
observe it here. And then watch how your breath and your body begin to here work together, shimming, shifting, softening. Yes, notice how it feels. Do you continue to feel the belly breathe in the spinal twist? Gaze is soft, tongue is tender in the mouth. Mm. Do you feel the curve in your entire spine from the base of the neck all the way down mid back, low back, tailbone? Yes, and then taking your time, letting it be gentle. We'll watch it come back through center, soft. Gaze back through center. Knees back through center. Begin to squeeze it all in. Hug it in again here. Mm, and then let it be soft, tender, gentle. Let the arms out to the sides. Opposite direction, spinal twist. You see here, we're just kind of softening through the body, becoming aware of what those tender, subtle, emotional sensations are. Can you feel it in your shoulders here? Is there space to soften? Noticing the shoulders, the neck, the low back, the hips, the knees, they're all tender spaces. And here is there a way that you can kind of view the body working with those spaces. Let it be gentle again. View the spine top to bottom. Mm, and then again, just like that, it winds back through center. Head rolls back, knees come back up again, squeezing, hugging on in. Trust the body, feel it here. Embrace yourself. Oh, maybe happy baby yet again. Can you hear the sound of your breath? There's nowhere else to be. Mm, begin again to start to rock back and forth, this time along the length of the spine, eventually noticing how it starts to create a little bit of energy. And maybe that brings you all the way up to the seat, but take your time. We'll find our way all the way to seated. Yes, where you can feel the body start to shift, root the sit bones, start to maybe the soles of the feet come together or perhaps the legs are crossed. Again, there isn't a way to mess the practice up. What is it that your body craves? And as you find the space, notice that you'll make some soft adjustments. You'll maybe lift up on one side or you'll kind of shimmy through the neck. Notice that kind of movement. Become aware of all of those soft, tender, subtle ways that you and your body communicate. Yes, and then here there is a soft awareness, letting the belly hug into the spine rooting the sit bones into the earth, both shoulders equally away from one another, equally away from the ears and away from the earth. Do you feel the power in your own seat? And then check in with the face, the eyes, the jaws, that tender is their soft space. Mm. Maybe the palms here start to press toward one another. Prayer right in front of your body. If it feels good, perhaps the thumbs can even connect with the skin or the clothing. Notice the way that your own flesh feels as if fingertips press toward one another. Keep hugging the belly in toward the spine. Root the seat. Feel the shoulders move away from the ears. Feel the distance between the ears and the shoulders the shoulders, and the earth. Listen to the sound of your breath. Now start to link movement. Inhale, press the palms all the way toward the sky. 
as slow as it takes for that full inhale. And then once the breath shifts, start to draw the palms right back toward the heart. Those two simple movements. Inhale, palms pressing toward the sky, lifting through the side body, belly hugs into spine. Exhale, palms coming back toward the heart, softening, rooting. Mm, maybe another two or three more in the tune of your own breath. Feeling the rhythm, the smooth, soft, buttery flow of your own breath. Mm, yes, the next time that the palms meet at the heart, don't rush to get there, but just hold the space, shoulders and ears away from one another. Inhale, palms press to the sky, let it lift. Exhale the breath, forward fold. Just let it lean over these cross legs or this bound angle. There is no right, there is no wrong in that depth of the forward fold, but let it be enough to invoke some physical sensation. Observe the shoulders. Observe the spine. Observe the ribs. The hips. The knees. Soften again everything in the face and then watch how it shifts. Begin to inhale, let it come all the way back up into seated. If you are in cross leg, then just take a moment to adjust. So if the left foot was out front first, then take a moment to just kind of switch that stance. And if you're in bound angle, maybe it feels good to kind of release that and then bring it right back in. But Take a moment, adjust again. Find your seat again. Soften the eyes yet again. Palms meet at the heart once again. It is all repetition. Inhale the breath, palms lift toward the sky. The exhale drips it back toward the heart. We've been here before, let it flow. Inhales will lift. Exhales will soften. Maybe another just like that. Can you soften the eyes, relax the jaw? Thoughts back into breath. The next time that the palms find the heart will hold the space yet again. Inhale the breath, palms reach to the sky, let it lift. Side bend to the right as you exhale. The right hand can come down to the earth if you choose. You can wiggle around if you choose. You can let it just reach on over, but find a space where you can feel the left side breathe. Good, another breath here. Your inhale draws it back through center. Both are equal. Exhale takes it to the left side, bending. Yes, you can feel any tension in your body. Pay attention to it. Wiggle through it, with it, around it, because of it. Stay in it. Whatever it asks, feel it. Yes, and then inhale the breath back through center yet again. This time as you exhale, we'll start to kind of shift into a child's pose. So you can place your hands onto the mat. You can sway the hips around or you can take a few moments to get there. However, your body gets into that space. And you see already we've kind of led the body, the physical on this journey. We're first the back, then the seat. Now the heart begins to bow. You see, your practice is always going to shift. What does it feel like today? How does it feel inside of here? Exactly where you are with knowing that there isn't anything that you have to force to move. 
It's all going to shift anyway. Notice how it feels in this moment. Notice how the knees, maybe if they're tucked up underneath the body, then are you perhaps needing protection, needing a strong, solid base? And if it helps to feel a little bit of vulnerability, does it, does it guide you to take the knees a little bit wider? Is it approachable in your practice to shift in a way that you normally don't find this child's pose? Or do you want to stay right where you are? Wherever it is, welcome to your practice. Begin to inhale the breath, bring the body right on up, table pose. Start to find the hands and the knees here. And if this does not feel approachable within your practice, maybe double up your mat, find a blanket, maybe even finding a space, any kind of adjustment that feels good for you. Observe the way that it feels on the hands and knees and kind of let it sway around, let it wiggle, let it move. Again, there's a freedom, there's a curiosity in which your body, your emotions, and your breath, they move together. And you see, we're just trying to make those thoughts and the movement connect with each other so we're not just walking robots. Begin to feel exactly your sensations as you start to draw your body toward stillness. Equal through left and right. Equal through hands and knees. Begin to hug the belly up toward the spine. Squeeze the upper arms, the inner thighs toward one another as though there's this invisible line right in your center. Soften the eyes, relax the jaw, make sure the tongue is tender and soft in the mouth. Feel again the belly hug up to the spine. Feel the center of your body, energetic yet not forced. And then watch how we begin to root that left hand deeply. Your inhale will draw the right arm up toward the sky. It's a spinal twist here and bearing all of the weight into the knees, feeling the hips turn, feeling that left hand press into the earth. Spread the fingers wide. If it feels good to you, let the gaze lift all the way on up toward the sky. If that's too much, then maybe the gaze is soft and tender. Perhaps the eyes can close here. Listen to your breath. Do you notice if it becomes more challenged as you place weight into one space? as you open your heart. And then just like that, we'll watch it shift. Exhale the breath, hand plants to the earth, child's pose. Mm, let it sway for a moment. Good, and then inhale, we bring it right back up. Table pose, equal again. Find that space yet again. Hands and knees equal. Inner thighs, upper arms squeezing toward one another. Belly, spine, hugging everything all in toward the center. Right hand roots and inhale the breath. Left hand lifts to the sky, spinal twist. Feel the weight bearing. Again, right finger spread wide. Nice and long, not dumping into the right shoulder. Feel the extension all the way out through the chest as it opens. Fingers spread wide. Listen to breath. And then watch how it shifts. Your exhale drips that hand back to the earth child's pose. Yes, good. Begin to feel again. Can you peek into your thoughts and emotions? Can you peek into the breath? Scan your body. How does it feel? Mm, yoga is your practice of active participation. Maybe another breath right here in this child's pose. And then watch how it shifts yet again. Begin to inhale, coming all the way up, sliding all the way up between the hands. Here it's cobra or upward facing dog. So the legs are extended all the way out. Your belly can rest onto the earth. 
you can find yourself onto the forearms where your upper body and your shoulders will lift just a little bit. You can breathe here. You can find a full extension here where maybe it feels good to place the hands into the earth to let the upper body lift a little bit more energetically. You can even find another expression where you can let the upper thighs lift off of the earth, pressing the tops of the feet right into the earth, long and extension, but everything here again, play by play, piece by piece, cell by cell, what do you feel? Every single posture is simply curious movement and with your current breath and experience. Soften through the jaw wherever you are and then watch because we'll shift again. We'll find our way toward a downward facing dog but take a few moments to get there. Wherever you are, let it be intentional and it can be sloppy and messy but curling the toes, pressing the palms, the hands right into the earth, lifting the hips, exhaling the breath, feeling the extension from the spine, from the legs all the way down and then playing around right here. How does it feel? Maybe it feels good to sway the head from side to side, left to right bending into the knees or perhaps coming on to the toes. Whatever it feels here, understand that your body is giving you messages, communications, codes, talk, speak. And wherever you are, begin to find stillness in this downward facing dog where the hands reach into the earth. The heels, they work toward the earth, even if they don't touch. The hips equal right and left, pointed all the way up toward the sky and feel your breath here. Let your breath grow and elongate into the earth and up toward the sky. Mm, another breath, yes. Feel, breathe. And then shift the gaze right up in between the hands. However you get there, start to let the feet come all the way to the top of the mat. Walk them, step them, help them out, however you get there. Eventually, once the feet are rooted all the way toward the top, feel, inhale your breath, peek up. Exhale the breath, fold it on forward here. Feel again. If the eyes are open, peek down to the toes, down to the entire feet. Give them thanks for all they carry you through. Let there be that soft, tender bend into the back of the knees. And perhaps the head will just bow here. Nice and soft, nothing to force. Maybe it feels good to let the body sway from left to right. Maybe putting a deeper bend into one knee and then the other. Perhaps it's just stillness. Maybe this is where you begin. Yes. And we'll start to shift into movement again. Starting to inhale the breath coming all the way up towards standing, rooting the feet, letting the upper body eventually reach all the way up to standing. Let the hands reach all the way, all the way to the sky. Yes, feel the root, feel the rise, and then exhale the breath. Bring the palms to the heart. Let the head bow. Welcome to your practice. It doesn't have to go by any name. It is just welcome. Movement, breath, stillness, play, work. Welcome to your practice. Inhale the breath, palms press all the way toward the sky. 
Side bend to the right as you exhale. Root the feet nice and long and strong into the earth. Feel them grow. Do you feel the breath through the left side of the body? Reach another breath here. Inhale, yes, let it come back through center. Both feet equal, both arms equal. Yes, then watch that exhale. Let it take it over to the left. You can take as much time as you need. Let it shift, let it move. Yes, feel the feet, they're firm. Feel the side of the body open. And then inhale the breath right back through center here. Let it lean on back. Open the heart. Become vulnerable here. Yes, and then root the feet. Watch the breath, how it shifts with you. Exhale. Fold it all the way inward. Trust your body. Trust yourself. Mm, inhale. Begin to peek up. Find length in the spine. And then here is that strength. Plant the hands, start to step the feet to the very back of the mat. High plank here. The very top of a push-up. Maybe it's a challenge and maybe the body starts to adjust in these soft little movements, but then there is stillness here. Stillness in a space where it might not be comfortable, where you can peek into your eyes and let them soften. Yes, really envision it softening through the eyes, through the skin, through the nose. Yes, relaxing your cheeks right into your mouth, into your tongue, your jaw. Are you aware of where you're holding any tension in your face? Can you soften? As it begins to shake, as it begins to get uncomfortable here, squeeze the upper arms, the inner thighs yet again toward one another. Hug the belly and the spine together. Keep it long. It isn't permanent. You will shift another breath here. Good. Exhale the breath. Lower down to the knees. Hug the elbows inward. Let the body soften. Press it on down. Good. Inhale the breath upward facing dog or cobra yet again if you feel that upward dog press the hands equally into the earth let the ears and shoulders move away from one another and then curl the toes here exhale the breath hips go high downward facing dog maybe just a moment here settle feel And then again, begin to peek up in between the hands. Start to step the feet all the way to the top of the mat. We've been here before. Inhale to peek. Exhale to fold. Inhale all the way to standing. Move at your own pace. Bring the palms to the heart with your exhale. Maybe we'll hang here for a moment. Good, inhale the breath, palms press to the sky. Side bend to the right, let your exhale take it. Inhale back through center. Exhale takes it left. Inhale back through center. Exhale, let it fall. Move at your own pace. Inhale, pick up. Plant the hands, step the feet to the very back. Again, high plank. Three breaths. Good. Begin to lower down to the knees. Exhale the breath. Let it come on down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Let it press. Exhale the breath. Let it slink on back. Child's pose. Begin to observe. As your heart is pressed toward the earth. Protected. Soft, 
There is a sacred stillness in your body. Can you hear the way that your breath and it moves in and out of your body? There a way here to even soften around the edges, almost as though you could just peek into the crown of the head, like a little shower over every cell of your body, just coming over the face, the head, the ears, flowing all the way across every cell of your body, the front, the back, the sides sealing it all up down at the very tips of your toes. How does it feel to be in this space? There isn't a rush, but eventually letting the body kind of roll on over to your back, letting the knees hug in toward the heart It doesn't matter which way your head faces. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Rolling around from side to side, feeling your shoulders press into the earth, your low back press into the earth. Maybe if it feels good, let the breath come in the nose, out the mouth. Perhaps it's happy baby again. Maybe the feet point on up toward the sky yet again. Toes flex. Toes point. Here, letting the knees squeeze back in, maybe tucking the head, tucking the chin on up. Observing feeling your entire body, its entirety. And then eventually just letting it all release down to the earth below you. Letting the arms drip out toward either side. Letting the legs drip out toward either side. Feeling the belly rise and fall with your own natural breathing. Taking just a few moments into this shavasana, a space of genuine reflection, body, mind, emotion, wherever they are, just let it be. body, your mind feels ready. Start 
start to shift your awareness right back into your present space. Right back into your thoughts and your emotions and your breath and how they all reside right here safely. Feel your belly rise and fall. You are safe. Listen to the sound of your breath here. You are alive. And let your fingers begin to wiggle. Maybe your head start to roll from side to side. Welcoming in again, just soft, tender movement. Eventually letting the arms rise over the head along the earth, making this body nice and long like you are coming into this awakening, but not from sleep. An awakening into the fact that even if it is uncomfortable, that we are an experience of a multifaceted human being. Let the knees start to hug up in toward the heart, embracing your body yet again, exactly where it is today. For all the things that it does, for all the things that this body doesn't do, there's a breath of gratitude right here. You see, there isn't any other space to be. Eventually, let yourself roll onto either side to feel this soft fetal space. Maybe one of the most important spaces of transition where this practice is no longer just something that happens on a mat as you wiggle through postures. Where your practice this practice, your emotions, your breath today will carry you out into this world. And even if it is uncomfortable, even if there are sensations that are not pleasurable, the only thing that each of us are in control of is the way we breathe, the way we move, and the way we react. The light in me deeply honors the light in every one of you joining me. Namaste.